All right, hello everybody. Welcome to a Champions Cup uh, first round, the Chalice or whatever you want to call it. Uh, we have got two really good players. We've got Kfog and Caprion. Um, <laughs> unfortunately for Caprion, not only is it bad getting getting Kfog in the first round, he's also got an absolute monstrosity of a Wood Elf team. He's got a jump up block of tree. He's got a ridiculous one turning catcher. Movement 10, uh, Adge 5, block sidestep sprint, so a completely ridiculous catcher. So, you know, and Caprion does have a wizard. So, you know, maybe you can maybe you can use the wizard and turn him over and do something, but I, I feel like it's... I feel like Wood Elves, Elves in general, are kind of a bad matchup for Vamps, because what Vamps want to do is break cages, isn't it? And you break cages of bashy teams, not of elf teams. Elf teams just elf better than vamps. Because while vamps have four elves, four slow, strong elves, they are slow. And, uh, you know, it's better to have 11 fast elves than four slow elves, basically. So I feel like elves just out elf. Just out elf. Uh, Vampires, in my experience, I feel very confident playing vampires with elves, and obviously with with bash, it's a bit of a nightmare because they can always they can always just get the ball off you and stuff. Um, yeah, I would I would tend to I would tend to take jump up before block on a tree anyway, just because it's it's so good. It's so I hate failing my four plus stand up rolls. I think it's it's. Well, it's not. I don't think it's definitely arguable between jump up and movement, which is better. Um, I I prefer jump up, but I mean, I can see people preferring movement. He's got the tackle. That tackle mighty blow. He could get lucky with removals, couldn't he? That's about his best bet, probably. Three uh, three dicing. People with block with block tackle mighty blow. Hope to stall him as high up a pitch as he can, and then hopefully get you know hopefully get some kind of wizard wizard roll. Yeah, it's just it's just a stand up. The it's the movement two, you know. Like movement two is horrendous. Movement two is absolutely horrendous, and it's. It doesn't stop you getting knocked over that much, you know, like 55 to 75, or 75 to 55, whatever. Um, playoffs, uh, Captain Blood is just the CCL Champions Cup playoffs, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's just, oh, lucky. He might, he might make the occasional mighty blow tackle hit, but he'll still just get outcast anyway. <laughs> Classic. Can they not get extra apples? Why Why has he got an ego? Can they not get extra apples? Doesn't make any sense. I don't know why you wouldn't... I don't know why you would get an ego instead of an apple. Can they not get extra apples? Um, I don't understand why you would, why you would take an ego instead of an apple. Yeah, you don't go 3D on the floor, yeah. I mean, yeah, but they're just so slow, isn't it? Screw that's the thing, isn't it? They're just so slow. They're so slow. And it's, um... We can't really take advantage of it very well against against elves, can they? That's the thing. Like, Wood Elves probably the best team to get wizarded. <laughs> like, most resilient against an opponent's wizard. Whatever in terms of winning the game. So... <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he got an ego. I, I don't know, I'm sure they could get extra apples. It doesn't make any sense to take an ego. It literally doesn't it make any sense. I don't... Oh, he got ego, not an ego. That's what he, he's got. There he is. It's ego, the fucking star. Jesus Christ, I'm dumb as fuck. <laughs> I mean... Oh, that was a simple, honest mistake. 
Right, yeah, he's got he got crazy ego. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. In in fairness, it's in fairness, it's two p.m. Uh, UK time. I have just got out of bed. <laughs> I've just woken up and got out of bed, so I'm not I'm not hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> oh, Dibby. We were just talking about how you're, uh, how you're the living embodiment of, uh, of Mr. Blobby, Dimmy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but this is the thing, see, this is the thing, right? If he had, if he didn't have jump up, knocking him over here might take him out for a turn or two, right? Could run away. Wait, he didn't stand firm? Oh, I guess because he was scared of a foul. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You just said, Dippy! <laughs> you, just, you just lived it instantly, Dippy, there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you instantly proved me right. <laughs> we were saying if, if Rick presented Rick's house party... Because Rick's like Rick's pretty pretty much could be a could be a game show host, you know, like uh, like a Noel Edmonds kind of <laughs> kind of crappy crappy TV show presenter with his glittery suit, and then uh, and then Dimmy could run around shouting his own name and falling over furniture, just just like Mr. Bluffy. <laughs> Oh dear. I'm surprised he followed. I, I don't know why he would follow the tree there. I don't know. Yeah. I guess he was scared of uh, just getting knocked down again, right? Whereas now he can not get knocked down ever again because he can't get the 2Ds anymore. I guess getting 2D by a mighty blow. The tree might get banged out. <laughs> I'll have to watch I'll have to watch that stream. Timmy work Timmy workout stream, that's gotta be great. Oh he's gone for the bolt. Rolls a one. <laughs> Fucking cosmic. Well, it sure does look like GG, doesn't it, Frosty? It sure looks like that. I don't know what the plan was. Maybe blitz him, and then block him, and then come through here. Oh well, his gaze has worked. So he can 2D the ball, but he's got the size step to here, hasn't he? Now, that's huge. With the, with the wizard not working. Right, you know, if he... The ball could have been out here, whereas now he's going to size step to there. Gets him out or bangs him out. And yep, yeah, there you go. Disgusting. Poor old Caprion. And now he might be might be too out of position now. <laughs> Never doing a press up again. <laughs> Will you be able to do a press up again, Dimmy? Is the question. <laughs> so I did press ups for a while, to be honest. I think I did too many. No, 
that's uh, that's not bad. In a row, or oh, or just in a day. <laughs> I went crazy on press ups when I when I was in my twenties. <laughs> One for each beer. <laughs> Classic take Dauntless and then just make sure a 2D anyway. Patented gym technique. Good thing is you can make this block of the tree, can you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the look of dog. The absolute look of dog. Oh, that means he's got to go through an additional tackle. And he rolls the one he could have not followed. And then he would have made the second dodge. But I guess it doesn't matter. But the ball is not on a dodger, so it's a lot easier for Caprion to get, uh, you know, get a gaze in and get dice on the ball than, you know, easy... You know, this is this is still dangerous for K Fog. He might want to get another turn to get people behind the ball again, though. I know, don't I know? Yes, I know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not mocking him for uh, for doing it at all. I, I think it's great. The three plus is working, always rough. Is he, is he, uh, the thing is, he wants to add five for the recovery, doesn't he? But no one else can really get there. Unless he does the one day with from Wrestle. Might do the one day Wrestle. He's got, he's got five re-rolls. And he just really wants to uh, no. But getting the ball on the ground doesn't do a lot against elves, does it? I think I think it's probably better to do the one D with Russell. <laughs> yeah, I got a skip and rope once that it didn't work out. It didn't work out for me, to be honest. I'm not a skipper. I might have done it, might not have done impetuous, lad. <laughs> you can't say it would have failed. He might have rolled, you know, he'd have been 75% if he put the re-roll in. It likely would have failed. I, I wouldn't have re-rolled it personally. I would have just gone for the 50-50 shot to get it down with the Edge 5 to recover. I feel like putting the Edge 5 in there, even if he pops it, if you don't recover, you've achieved nothing because the L's just pick it up next turn. Well, based on the dice that came up, doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> it depends which one of these came first, because he oh, it would have been a floor, it would have been a push, so it would have been alright, wouldn't it? You'd have rolled a skull, then we rolled into a push. But then he would have had then he would have had wrestling contact with the ball and the edge five somewhere else. Doesn't matter though, does it? Point is, the 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 wrestle would have had the payoff of the edge five recovery, 
and the Arch 5 sack doesn't achieve anything even if he sacks it. At least he's at least he's stalled him a bit here. Uh, only three turns left for Kfog. Like obviously catches us dead fast and everything, but you know he's he's down he's down a dancer, and he hasn't made any headway into the half yet. So maybe he can just try to screen this and uh, and react. Blood Bowl I don't know, Dimmy G, but he's played about 2,000 games with him or something stupid. <laughs> no, I think 1,300 or something. <laughs> 12 6 1 games. What a madass. I think maybe he's gone a bit too hard off the ball here. This uh, this smells of overcommitment here, in my opinion. Absolute mad lad. But you know what do I know? He's played he's played approximately twelve hundred more games than I have with vampires. <laughs> so you know. But uh, I think I would not want to overcommit with the movement six guys. That's the problem, isn't it? This looks really ropey. Because yeah, they're just so fast, aren't they? The elves couldn't, can just, are just so fast. But lack of tackle from uh, K Fog. It's only on the dancer, I believe. Yeah, he's got a GFI to hit the uh, hit that guy. Oof, doesn't get the knockdown. Yeah, maybe he should have greeted that. This isn't much of a cage corner, is it? I like how he's made the extra cage corner there. Oh, and then he's double wand. Well, this really isn't a cage corner, but again, he, he was a bit overcommitted to this side, wasn't he? And even though he didn't get the knockdown here, even if he gets this knockdown, there's still not a great deal on the ball, is there? Maybe he gazes him and then hits the ball with the vamp. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he could, he could move that thrall. He could come in with a vamp, gaze him. And then, uh, oh, but then he want, he'd want to run through there. That could be a real nice blitz move. And then he'd have the edge five to recover. I oh, could come around the other side. Oh yeah, he's got he's got lots of options. That doesn't help him. Really wanted the power there, didn't he? It would have made it easier for him to come through and he could have come through the back. Yeah, he could get an assist on the back. He could just power him and then wrestle with an assist. Oh, oh, I pros it! What a dirty dog! What a dirty dog! Yeah, that, I, it is interesting, Dio, but then on the other hand, Caprian is, has like put enough pressure on to make it not easy to uh, bang it in early. Oh, I don't like this. Do I not like this? Yuck. Yuck. 
I mean, I see the point, but it agitifies his recovery, isn't it? And he's just not got it again. <laughs> Jimmy Taylor, yeah. <laughs> Do I not like that is one of the best. <laughs> one of the best quads of all time, isn't it? Because that, that case, all it did was stop him making an extra GFI and he could have still, like, blitzed him. I guess this way he gets to push him the better score. But he hasn't got the agi to recover. I guess he's got this guy who can vaguely... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, not really. That's the thing, isn't it? That edge 5 was his recovery. And now he hasn't got it. Hello, Tom Schniz. And now he's on a real overcommit now, isn't he? Now it's uh, PTK can, is away if he... Uh, if he makes the dice rolls. The rather easy dice rolls of threes and twos. And it's an eight turn stall. So this this was always the danger for Caprio and playing it the way he played it. It's crazy ego. Um, yeah, he rolled a one on the wizard, fine. <laughs> Yeah, but <laughs> yes, impetuous lad. But he's got sure hands right here. Oh, do you mean do you mean Kerfog? Yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> right here is not right here. So yeah, this this is super easy. This is a two D get the pal, and then three plus with you know he's got he's just got sure hands for any normal character. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hand off threes with catch. Run away. Can't reach him with anybody. Yeah, it is. But it is, isn't it? Like, it's easy when your opponent has to roll them, Timmy. It's easy when your opponent has to roll them. Like, I'm speaking it, I'm saying it from uh, Caprion's point of view. Is that it's easy. Good point. Oh, he's failed the pickup. Yep, good point. <laughs> <laughs> can't can't do it anyway. Well, he's gonna. He was gonna hand off to him, I guess. A pass to him and then hand off to him. Didn't really matter. The point was he had the. Uh, the point was he had the uh, three plus sure hands and failed it. So yeah, now. Caprion has got, got a chance, hasn't he? He's got half a chance now. You can still get this guy in the end zone and pass it to him. Oh, Vili. Oh, dear. Dimmy. <laughs> this is a bit tricky, though, isn't it? Needs the power, gets the power. And he probably takes a scatter here. Because there's two players, well, two players that is fucked if he gets it, basically. Oh, man gets the cars. Look a dog. Ooh, what a scatter. He has got vamps to uh, gaze. And pick up and stuff though. So again, not terrible. <laughs> yeah, fat and banged on. <laughs> banged on by Dimmy. <laughs> I, he's got to just try and gaze this guy, hasn't he? But then... One, two, three, four, five. It's hard. I mean, he could just do it with him, I guess. And then go for a three, two. I guess that's his play. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. 
and I will defend. Oh, I will oh, defend. He didn't have to score this turn. All about the dice, about the dice, no trouble. <laughs> oh, I was thinking to pick up with a uh, guy and then hand off to him and score, but of course he doesn't have to. Thank you very much, Oriolensis, coming up to four years. Unbelievable. Um, <laughs> fucking hell. Eleven and a half beaver pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. Oh, schoolboy error, PC. Schoolboy error. <laughs> yes, that was that was that was much smarter than going for the handoff play, wasn't it? I mean, PTK's got the uh, got the old dauntless strip, so he might be able to get the ball up, ball loose. But can he uh, can he do anything after that? Is the question. Maybe. I am still trying to wake up. Yeah, Frank. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I've drunk about a fifth of my cup of tea. And now it's got a bit cold. Now oh, he's got sure hands. <laughs> he's got sure hands. <laughs> you can't expect me to look at what skills players have. <laughs> Is that another double one? No, just one more. So far. I mean, he has got Rackle anyway, hasn't he? he? Although the strip is irrelevant, he does have Rackle. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dimmy. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Uh, he still got. He still got Dauntless, and uh, he still got Dauntless and Rackle. So why is he taking so long? Is he thinking of a? Ah, oh, running her all the way around. Clever. Clever, I thought he was going to leap in, but he ran all the way around. Interesting that he pushed him there, isn't it? Because he's still in scoring range here. I feel like that was maybe a misclick, but then I guess it was more danger of a scatter, bad scatter this way. So I guess 50 50 on whether he meant to or not. <laughs> Because it's like obviously more dangerous to leave the show hands guy in scoring range, but then it does increase your odds of a good scatter. So it's not not cut and dried what the best play would be. Oh, the intercept! <laughs> oh no, edge five not in a tackle zone. No, it was just edge four, but still five plus. Oof. It's not what you want, is it? That's not what you want. Hello, Zani Whoop. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's definitely not GG. <laughs> it's definitely not GG. But um Yeah, it's okay. Pretty good. So it's just a 2D on him, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then a GFI. Clever, he's even got his guy back there in case he rolls a one on the bloodlust. Not a problem. It's almost like he's played this this game before, isn't it? <laughs> it's almost like he knew which players had 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 sure hands, 
and which players were gazed and which players had bloodlust. <laughs> yeah, I'd say game on rather than GG, to be honest. <laughs> I'd, I'd call this I'd call this this result game on rather than GG. <laughs> yeah, PC, I'm I'm not at my best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not at my best this morning. It's not even morning. It's morning for me. It's still real to me, goddammit. <laughs> I like that Dimmy's just learnt that as well, by the way. <laughs> He's repeated it 14 times. <laughs> yeah, it's 2.30, but it's probably earlier for me than it is for you, Prankster Ranch. <laughs> A gaming PC. Oh, man. Mr. Thrall. It's the worst, isn't it? <laughs> Mr. fucking Thrall. Oh, dear. Do you know what? Somebody said something in the uh, in the Among Us Discord the other day, which I don't know if anyone can confirm or not, because I couldn't be asked to watch it. But somebody said, wasn't Jimmy Fantastic the name of one of the human blitzers in Mini War Gaming's Blood Bowl 2016 release tournament? That's pretty great, isn't it, if they did? If they named somebody after me, that would be awesome. Didn't didn't give me didn't give me any of any of their 110,000 views, but hey. <laughs> if they named a player after me, that would have been nice. <laughs> I am in a I'm in a kind of stupid... I'm in a, I'm in a fucking just not being able to sleep time zone. Do you want to set the ball? Not not in Blood Bowl 2020, Ali, yet, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well done. Yeah, Empire. Empire time zone. Yeah. Empire time zone. That's the one. <laughs> God, the no spin zone is the best zone, isn't it? Fuck spinning blood, blood ball. If you can't, if you can't spin like Dio, the next best thing is to not spin. <laughs> you either one space cadet pissed out of his mind with goblins. <laughs> this is likely the best coach you'll face. Oh. <laughs> Not spinning at all. Wonderful. <laughs> yes, PC, yes. Thanks. <laughs> God, Caprion's got to be a little bit excited now, hasn't he? Um, so, KFOG could choose to have benched his catcher, but there's no point benching his catcher because if Caprion scores on turn 8, it's 2-0. So, he wants to use him on defence, that makes all the sense in the world. If you don't win this match, you're out of the tournament, so if he dies, he dies. As long as you win, that's all that matters, isn't it? Exactly, Dimmy. I didn't, I didn't, look, what you need to do is, uh, is do this look. <laughs> it's all about the Dio spins, not the gym spins. The incredible thing in that is how many times he's actually used Norse in those games. Amazingly, he often seems to be using goblins. <laughs> uh, of, 
course, uh, Dyer would never, would never ever snipe because he likes it. He thrives on adversity. Never ever, ever snipes. Never. It's all vicious rumors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've got to, you've got to brand me to play Blood Bowl first. <laughs> it's just spinning battle, brothers. <laughs> the funny thing is, I'm totally over Battle Brothers now. I just played it because I was fucking couldn't get to sleep, but. Now that I've beaten it, I'm not. I'm not that bothered about playing it anymore, to be honest. Like I mean, I've played it for like over 400 hours. I've got all the replayability out of it already. I think. <laughs> Like, I guess single-player games don't really have the replayability of multiplayer games, do they? But I like that. I like there not being a challenge. I like it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, yeah, so. A bit like Among Us, right? Among Us. Once, uh, once I got my thousand hours in Among Us, it it dropped off a bit. No, the main thing about Among Us was not was lack of Dimmy. I'm sure, I'm sure that that it's the lack of Dimmy is why I don't like Among Us anymore. Only a hundred hours in Among Us. Battle Brothers four hundred and thirteen. Uh, I would say no, um, <laughs> Zani would, I would just stick with that, those 11, maybe go up to a 12th at some point, but um, you want to keep TV low really to not get fucked on by chaos, as a general rule. Rerolls the bloodlust, he's not playing for overtime. Can't believe I thought Ego of the Star was the Ego reroll regens. But to be fair, the Star should be called Crazy Ego. <laughs> In my defence. Oh, man, he's going for the foul on AV10. Amazingly, doesn't break AV. So it's kind of falling here, V7, but you know. <laughs> I 
Um, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, like, you can have a troll and a goblin at high TV because it does give you more strength and you like kind of bad matchups. Uh, of, like, chaos and stuff. Um, and obviously gives you the one turn chance with a goblin. So, like, you could go them to eventually. Like, I'd probably go to 12 relatively soon because they're pretty powerful at low TV, so it gives you gives you some reliability having 12. And then, uh, eventually you could go to 14 at some point by busting out the Troll and Goblin. But you'd want to be quite high TV before that. Or in the playoffs, or just not scared of Orcs, or whatever. Like, you only really need Guard on the Troll, it's not like you need to skill them up massively. Yeah, jump up so can't can't fail the uh the stand up. It is a sick tree. No guard though. Oh Froze into Dub Skulls. Well done. And that there is why you should never pro anything. <laughs> Hundred percent deserved. <laughs> Don't pro two dice blocks. God damn it. <laughs> Jump up just lets him stand up without using movement. He, to block he'd have to roll 3 plus. 4 plus. 4 plus. He'd have to roll 4 plus to stand up and block. So, just use the jump up to stand up for free. Yeah, it's much better now that the greed blocking with Pro. Yeah, much improved. Oh, fuck off, PTK, you jammy cunt. <laughs> oh, God, that's disgusting, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking hell. Fuck it, that's horrible, isn't it? I mean, no offence to PTK, obviously, he knows... <laughs> <laughs> you know that I don't mean anything bad, but fucking hell, that's disgusting. <laughs> now, does PTK score here? Because then he can bench the Arch 5. Or well, the one turner. Let's, let's call it what it is. He could bench the one turner now. And, you know, play normal defense. And he can't lose in normal time, right? Like, if he scores now, he might win in normal time. And we'll at least draw 2-2 two -two in normal time. So I think he'll bang it in. Yeah. The Wiz did get used, but he rolled a 1 screw roll. Yeah, it was greedy pro. I mean, it was uh, it was still very unlucky, wasn't it? You know, Using pro only gives you a 1 in 72 chance to turn over, doesn't it? Because you, you could fail the pro, and then you could you've got to make the pro, and then one in thirty six. So it was very unlucky to dub skull from a pro, but I still don't like using it. Like I still wouldn't do it, and I, I don't like it because I just just don't like it. But <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, Ducky. Yeah, I just don't like it though. <laughs> and to be fair, it's a bit it's a bit unfair as well because he's taken pro because it's a vampire, right? He's taken pro because it's a vampire, so he's got pro for the the bloodlusts and the dodges and the gazers and stuff like that. Not so much dodges, but you know, like it's not that he's just taken it on a killer because he's an idiot. 
you know. Um. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Tony! Stop being shit. It's it's not. He hasn't just taken pro because he's 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 got a killer and he's he's taken pro in it, you know. So <laughs> not that I'm calling anybody an idiot who does that, but. You know, it's not just it's not just taken for greeting blocks, and then and then you just ended up in the situation where, yeah, he's hitting a dancer. You've got you you kind of had to, yeah, yeah, kind of got to. But yeah, maybe you could have made maybe you could have made the block safer. I'll be honest, I wasn't really watching. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> is he? Is he? Oh no, he's he's got the he's got the catcher on the field. I would have I would have benched the catcher. I would have benched the catcher now because um yeah, for him not doing anything. Fame's crap, isn't it? To be honest, like it's a terrible mechanic anyway. Like the fact that you can have more fan factor and then not have more fame is stupid. I think. <laughs> Always honest, are oh, yeti? Blood balls, Mister Nice. You can pro this one <laughs> if you triple. If you triple skull there, then fair enough. It's not your game. <laughs> But again, maybe he could have made the ball a bit safer. You know, even just moving that guy across one. But yeah, greet, greeting with pro gets a lot better with the, in the new rules. Of course, vampires don't really exist. In, uh, in uh, well, probably the league because he's used his leader at reroll, hasn't he? So now he's just a wrestle thrall for the rest of the game. And the only thing that matters is winning this game because if you uh, if you don't win this game, you're out of the tournament. So it also might bait a bad blitz off PTK. Like if you don't, if you want this guy, if you want this character blitz, the fact he's got leader might tempt him to blitz him. Um, but I mean, he probably just put the guy there and didn't think about it. <laughs> Like he probably would have rather assisted with this guy, but then maybe he wanted to move him after he picked up the ball, in which case this guy is pretty much the only guy you can use, right? If you want to keep him there in case you in case you fail the block or whatever, you didn't want to move him there before he did the pick up, so it's probably just hedging the safe moves at some point, kind of thing. Safe moves sometimes. These three over here is a bit crap, isn't it? I wonder if PTK will like kind of screen them off. the tree on them. Yeah, but then he's on two low value characters, isn't he? Like, he's still on two now, but he could fully screen them. He could, uh... He could dodge out there, and then he could have, like, three characters here, and just totally screen off those three, which I quite like, because then you're getting a scoring threat. Personally, I would have screened them off. BTK hasn't at all, but... I would have made this dodge here. And put those two guys there, so these three would, these three would have been totally screened off from everybody else. And then you would have the you would have your scoring threat. In fact, you'd have a guy there, a guy there, and a guy there, couldn't you? And now you'd have to blitz him to come back over here. I don't know. I like keeping the tree central as well, just because then it's it's not very. Uh, Responsive is it the old tree? 
So if you keep it central, it's never really going to be too bad. As he puts the tree over that side, and then he gazes the tree and then moves them away, then the tree can be pretty bad for a while. Throw it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, pro, pro is pro it can be good, can't it? I just hate the idea of re-rolling into dub skulls. I absolutely despise the idea of a one. Does doesn't it, Jahanian? Yeah, when it works, it looks great, bro. <laughs> and some people might have re-rolled a hit on the dancer anyway, mightn't they? Might have team re-roll it. Yeah, Dio does recommend it. Like I just I really hate the idea of just rolling the you know, re-rolling into the re-rolling into the dub skulls, but you know, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is good. Yeah, that's all you can do, Oscar Douglas, yeah. It's literally all you can do. <laughs> The good thing is he doesn't have to score. Like, that's the good thing, right? Because if he scores, k Folk's just going to score back anyway. This fucking one turn. So, at least the pressure to score isn't, isn't huge. Good question, Jahanian. 31, yes, maybe he did. Maybe he did. Oh man, is is special thick skull star player thrall getting bitten? Will thick skull keep him on the pitch? No. That's true, yeah, Billy. Really. But then on the other hand. It's there's there's it's more to it than that, isn't there? That's the thing. But you know, it is what it is. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure I don't like it as much as I should like it. But also, I think other people like it more than they should. <laughs> like I think it's it's probably hard to assess. You know, impartially, isn't it? People will have been burned by it, but then other people will have, you know, like I think people will be coloured by their experiences with it. And I guess obviously you just don't use it if it's devastating. Like you just shouldn't, you shouldn't pro if it's going to be devastating. Dub skulls should you? In the same way as you don't greed if it's going to be devastating to dub skull. Because as long as you use it intelligently, it's just upside, isn't it? Oh man, that edge five. He got his gaze in, but is he going to go down? Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, or pro into dub skulls into lost game. Lost ball in game is. It's not good, is it? Oh wow, hero thrall, getting that, getting that smooth pow. God, it's hard from now. This is, I think, this is a good play by PTK here. He's like, or maybe it was bad play from Caprion, but he's pretty squeezed up here, isn't he? It's not a lot. Not a lot of places for him to go here. And, uh. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've not taken it much. I, I took it more in the old days of Blood Bowl, like 1994, I used to take Pro. 
because you could use pro on uh, <laughs> you could use pro on armor injury rolls. <laughs> so a dirty player pro guy could uh, could make a foul, uh, roll a double on the armor roll, use pro to re-roll that, <laughs> not get sent off, you know, and then uh, and you only got sent off on a double on the armor roll. Or you could just, you know, whatever you rolled. And you could do it on Mighty Blow as well. So just like, you know, Varag had Mighty Blow and Pro, so he would just he would just block people, knock them over and then uh, and then pro their armor roll. So or or their injury roll. So yeah, it was it was pretty good. It was pretty good. That, so that in those days Pro was pretty pretty damn powerful. Um whereas now it's a bit shit, isn't it? So again, that covers my opinion of it, maybe. Yeah, this was this is a rough turn for Caprion, but again, you kind of got the problem comes from the previous turn where he got squeezed a lot, didn't he? Because I would have, as I said, I would have really not cared about scoring this drive if I was him, and just not turn over because scoring isn't just isn't that impactful because PDK has got his. Ludicrous fucking Edge Five guy. Yeah, Pro was a little bit like it, but I mean better. Kind of better, right? Better than Pylon because you could use it on fouls or blocks, and also Mighty Blow and Mighty Blow and uh, Dirty Player stacked as well. <laughs> So like you know, it's pretty ridiculous. <sighs> yeah, pro pro on big guys, but again, not not as clear cut now with it only affecting one dice. But then it's a three plus, isn't it now? Pro, so it's interesting. Yeah, that would have been a lovely, a lovely move into there, wouldn't it? Or he could have even GFI'd. He could have even GFI'd into there, couldn't he? So I would have maybe moved him later and thought about GFI'ing, so I guess he was just going to go into here, wasn't he? I think that's still good. But that might have been even better, but I guess it's not worth risking the 2 plus. So he'd have just gone in there. Oh. He's failed. Gets to hit the edge five now, does he? Maybe. Maybe he gets Glorious. to hit the edge five. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. <laughs> I will defend. Well, you can't judge off the Is Father for Christmas coming. bringing some more toes this year? <laughs> You can't judge it from the dice. Um, the 4 plus with a reroll gives you the 75% in, um, which is obviously better than 66.6% .6 in. Obviously, if you're going to commit a reroll, then the leap is better. But then also, if you leap in, then you've got less chance of a reroll in the hit itself. So it, it's not it's not cut and dried, whichever way you look at it. Also, obviously, PTK wants to sit on rerolls for kick equity. So... It, so it's um so even if you even if you're willing to commit the reroll, it's not. Yeah, so it's it's really not cut and dry, which is better. Than, well, I mean, you can, I guess you can say which is better for going for the sack. Um, thank you very much, Fan Fox, for staying for staying fantastic for a cool year. Sadly, no more. Sadly, no more. Uh, no more tours. No. What was he leaping in for? A uh, one uh, D. Oh, don't it's hard, hard to compute with uh, Samba. You just assume that he needs the two plus to work. Then you're looking eighteen and a half or forty versus twenty point eight or thirty eight point two. So there you go. 
go. I said equity, I think, rather than kick equity. Yeah, it's one turn is alright, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since uh <laughs> Clint. Oh he scored. Is he leaving is he leaving Kerfog with a two turn? I guess he might as well, right? <laughs> he might as well. <laughs> God. It seems like terrible blood ball player leaving your opponent with a two turn chance, but when they've got a fucking move ten sprint edge five guy. It doesn't really matter whether you leave him a one turn or a two turn. <laughs> the one turn odds with him are pretty ridiculous. Like it's almost certain he could he might just do the one turn yet yeah, to stop any kind of stupid gazes or anything. Yeah, J5 came up with past tense K fog ages ago and then uh and then in the wrestling he's been Prime time Kevin as well. He, maybe he could have done, yeah, HTK. Maybe he could have done, but... I guess K-Fog, by going for that Lord sack, you know, imply that he'll do it again. And then, you know, if he nails that Lord sack, then you're in, bad, you're in a bad spot, aren't you? So. I mean, the whole half, he should have been trying to hit him, shouldn't he? Maybe he was. I mean, even if you do take him out, the other ones are still all right, aren't they? Like, he's still got movement eight um, with sprint. So, like, it's still... The one turn is still, like, decently likely. So he's just pre he's just preventing the one turn, isn't he, here? Like, just backlining against the one turn. So I wonder if PTK will kind of fall for it and try to do a two turn. I guess the idea of Caprion here is to lure to lure PTK into doing a standard two turn score, which he might be able to disrupt with gazes and stuff. Right, it's still still pretty easy for Elster two turn, isn't it? No matter what he does with gazes and stuff. A woody two turn is still pretty high odds. I guess he's not going for one turn because he would have tried to, you know, sidestep him forward a square or two. If he was. Yeah, exactly. Just <laughs> seven scoring threats, exactly. And now it's what does he do against that? He can gaze the odd one, he can mark people up and stuff, but. That's going to be pretty easy rolls for PTK to score whatever, whatever he does at this point. It's a pretty glorious tree. He doesn't have guard, but apart from that, he's pretty amazing. Nearly the perfect tree, isn't he, I guess? Yeah, grab's pretty nice as well, isn't it? Yeah, grab and guard. Jimmy 
mean Blood Bowl 3, Billy? Oh yeah, no, Movement 3, no it doesn't. Is it easy to stop the TD? I would have been tempted to like gaze this guy, gaze this guy and run through and hit him with a mighty blow. Honestly. As stupid as it is. As stupid as that is. I would have just tried to gaze them through and run through and hit the uh, hit the catcher. God, I tell you what, if this game of uh... <laughs> yeah, it's not good, is it? <laughs> to be fair, I didn't get to play teams for a long time, so that's all. That's all like low TV vamps, which is obviously harder than sixteen hundred vamps. I think I've got one blood vamp ever. Never mind, you know, pros and stuff. Call or TV. Also, probably some, uh, probably some, uh, concessions where I was pissed off as well. Didn't get many though. Well, he's managed to not <laughs> not do anything to stop <laughs> the prime scoring threat. Yeah, there, weren't, there weren't a lot of games though, were they? So like, it's never going to be a, a good a good record with Vamps unless you get a bunch of games on one team, really. Well, or, or be Elliot. <laughs> That's the alternate. <laughs> Not ideal, but he can just roll two pluses, can't he? Oh, he's got sidestep. <gasps> oh no, PTK. Oh no. It doesn't matter, it's still just twos to score, isn't it? Oh, he didn't follow! He didn't fucking follow! Mein Gott, why didn't he follow? Oh, he's got the blitz. Do you go here? To keep the screen? Yeah. I don't like that. He could have just followed. Then it would have been a 2 plus catch and a 2 2 2 to score. Really didn't like that from PTK. 
If you just followed, it's a two plus handoff, one, two, three, two plus dodges. I guess it's still three two plus dodges, isn't it? One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's still just two, three two plus dodges. I just go even go around that way. What a fucking joke. Doesn't even matter what what anybody did there, did it? You could have played that about 14 different ways. And just roll some twos and scores. <laughs> <laughs> Xbox, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well that was... PTK played it much better than I thought in my sleep-deprived state, but still, I think you could have played that in a million ways and it's still been really easy. Like, you didn't have to pick the best way, did he? And he's won the toss. So it was a good effort by Caprion, though. But yeah, I think I think he had to blitz that edge five. I really do think he had to to gaze. I think he had to gaze the other people in a row to to get the hit on that on that catcher with a mighty blow. And then that way, you know, if he gets the removal, at least if K Fox scores, he might not have the edge five. And the edge five is just so much better than everything else as well. Yeah, Skuro, yeah. Is, well, after the, especially after the wizard fail, wasn't it? After the wizard fail. That was really like, looked like not good for Caprion, but he managed to uh, make it a match, for sure. Yeah, just an extra line, or just whenever you feel like your team's good enough to support 50k blow, basically. It's, it's when you... When you've got enough power that you want a bit of reliability, basically. Where is your resub? I've got no idea. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'll do it for you. <laughs> As you can see here from my graph. <laughs> My ratio of technical ability to entertainment is off the chart. <laughs> Isn't that right, Tom? <laughs> An incredible promo. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> or should I say, unseen talent? <laughs> Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> it's pretty amazing that you got your kid to fucking take part with a slice of bread on his face. <laughs> that alone is fucking incredible. <laughs> he went out the blimp on blue. <laughs> it's already fucking amazing. And if you've got no idea what the fuck we're on about, by the way, here, I'll send you a link to my uh, to my YouTube with Elimination Chamber happening tonight at 9 p.m. UTC. We've got some glorious promos. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some glorious promos, and uh, this is the best one, probably, because it was filmed by both of them. <laughs> it was filmed by Unseen Walker and Flicky Flack. <laughs> it's pretty great. Um... <laughs> oh, never mind, Ansi, it's all the, uh, all the concussions, I guess. <laughs> Uh, probably stuck panda, yeah, probably. <laughs> Live in the character. Yeah, he's, he's got the edge five on the LOS. Um, <laughs> who is going to win this match? It's probably going to be... It's probably going to be 
cave frog here. Um, he's probably going to get probably going to get a push forward or two. He's got one. Can he hand it off? Yep, yeah, should do the handoff now. that PTK doing the one turn properly unlike most everybody else in the world <laughs> actually does it properly and now he's just some well just one two plus away isn't it no two two pluses away Maybe he'll block him and then block him to get the extra push. But then he'll make it a little bit harder if he doesn't get the power. Oh, sorry, he just needs the push, doesn't he? If he doesn't get the push, if he gets the both down, that's what I meant. But he gets the power as well, so it's just 1 2 plus with a reroll. To win it. Yeah, it turns out he didn't need the movement turn. <laughs> well, it saved him the GFIs at least, didn't it? Woo! <laughs> nearly, nearly failed. He still rolled a one after all that. Yeah, the little man, big man challenge. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Fucking eye patch. Everything. But yeah. So there you go, there you go. PTK, obviously, as you would expect, did the. Did the. Uh, did the. Uh, did the one turn right. Um. But yeah, it was good. It was scrappy, wasn't it? There was there, there was actually more play than I thought there would have been in that. To to say that uh, to say that Capron was four hundred TV down with vampires, um, <laughs> he definitely made a game of it. So hats off to Caprion. and uh, commiserations to him. Congratulations to PTK, uh, J Man, <laughs> K Fog, and uh, there you go. Congrats to him. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.